Who are you today and who will you be tomorrow? Who we are today is a culmination of every single moment we've experienced, heard, saw and learned. We're a cup that's filled to the brim. So before we can acquire any new knowledge or information, there needs to be a process of emptying a bit of the cup before we can fill it up with anything new. We need to unlearn a great many things before we can learn new things. Sometimes we don't even realize that we're going about our daily routine in a shrouded haze where we're purely depending on our habits to do things. For example, just because we've always been self-conscious to raise our hand in school, as an adult, we may exhibit the very same behavior even though there's no teacher to scold us or classmates to laugh at us. Or just because we saw our parents ignore each other during an argument, as an adult, we automatically give our partner the silent treatment when we're upset. Sometimes we do things not because we want to, but because it's a habit ingrained in us that we're not even conscious of. All of us have this incredible power to shape the kind of person we want to be, to change aspects of ourselves to enrich our lives. But to do that, we need to first be aware of what our habits are, the way we think and what we're afraid of. That's always hard to do because it requires a scary kind of honesty that has us looking at ourselves and our weaknesses. It can potentially make us more paranoid and less confident. But when we actually do it, we'll realize that self-reflection is empowering because it means that we're no longer walking around and doing things in a haze. It means we're aware of what we want to unlearn and to examine what new skills and actions we want to adopt so that we can get from where we are to where we want to be. There's a saying, what you are is what you have been, what you'll be is what you do now. So keep emptying that cup and be happy always.